talky talky happy talk. Right, Keith, I noticed we've got two bonnets and two wings. Where are you started, our kid? Yeah, that's this car right here. Yeah. She's got two front wings. So he wants two front bonnets. And then two, two front bonnets. And then two bonnets. Oh, I can understand that. Just in case. Just in case. So anyway, fiberglass, fiberglass. Fiberglass, fiberglass. We're just, we're only joking. I know we're only joking. I know we're only joking. Fiberglass wing, fiberglass wing, fiberglass bonnet. Some repairs, still need some discrepancies. Yeah, obviously, I mean, it's fiberglass, it's never yeah. going to be perfect, is it? So, what we need to do is prime it now uh, and then check over it, um, fill in any holes or imperfections, and we'll probably end up priming them again. Yeah, this one's had a bit of work. Yeah, this one was uh, it got a bit of a crack across here, it was a bit wobbly, and it was got a bit of a bit missing off the end as well. So we've sort of had to put that back on. Yeah. To the best of So we're going to primer up yeah. some stuff. Um, do it, let's do it. I'm just gonna stand here, hold my breath. in the gel coat. Oh yeah. Although I've filled a lot of things. You can see obviously it Obviously you miss little bits. Just so sort of end up priming it, filling them, and then priming it again. Yeah, ma'am. Just pick that up on the camera. So you think that's one of the best fiberglass panels you've come across? There don't seem to be, you know, masses of holes. It's more the gel coat on the top of them. Yeah. It's the gel coat, the fiberglass underneath the gel coat holds it all together. Uh, and it's obviously there's different standards, isn't there? The different levels. I think obviously that must have a pretty good gel coat on it. No, okay. Yeah, don't, don't Someone will. I think that's a really good one. Yeah. See how we found holes in the wings? Yeah. I can't actually see any. There might be one or two, but there's nothing that jumps out that it's... And if you get a really bad one, yeah, yeah. Millions of holes in it, and then... Well, I've seen some, like, fake Mugen wings yeah. that are covered in them. Yeah. It's just a little gel coat yeah. finish on the top of it. And I'm, the better they are... The, the less work yeah, it is. Yeah, the easier it is for us. I mean, the more work we have to put in... The more it costs. And then dry, dry, 
on it again, and that's it. And this should be a good one because it's a standard good one, it only had a few chips in it. So. Yeah. There's something really satisfied about that about Primer. I love the colour of grey Primer. I'm considering it. Yeah. Right, okay. I'll check back when uh, you want to... <laughs> a primer. <laughs> Pri primer grey. Filing cabinet grey. I don't want no hate. Oh, you'll get hate, mate. You'll get hate no matter what you're doing, I'm afraid, my friend. Right, it's a bit warm in there. Okay, so I'll check back up with you yeah, in a bit. They're going to get two more coats. I think we're going to have three coats on. Uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll have to flat them and, and maybe brown them again. Okay, mate. All right. See you in a bit. Okay. So, yeah, Uncle Keith's oven again. And uh, I can see he's made some great improvements already. Keith. Yo. Talk me through it. Right, they've been primed up once. They've been primed up once. We yeah, saw that. We saw video. Yeah, we saw we've that. Them down. And now we're filming any holes, bits that, you know, indiscrepancies that, that yeah. So this uh, is how you make them as smooth as possible yeah, because really. out the finish when they turn up isn't great. No. Right. The bonnet, the bonnet's pretty good, so we've brought that one, we've got the bonnet. Um, that's that's good enough now to carry on with. So, so the bonnet's great. pretty good, yeah. but the wings need the a bit wings, more work. It's still got little holes in all down there and all these little bits and, and holes and yeah, not, not good enough for us to paint really, so. Okay. We've got to stop removal, flatten that smooth now, hopefully put two nice coats of primer on, and it should be where, where as, you as want, good as it's getting. It to be, really. Yeah. So another coat of primer then. Yeah. Is this a high build primer, what's this? Yeah, this is high build primer again, so yeah. this would be blocking and flattening down again. Yeah. Which is why fiberglass is so time consuming. Yeah. Because the amount of time you have to spend. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. Then, then you prime something, flat it, and then paint it. Well, it's so, it's someone's pride and joy, yeah, so they don't right. want those little holes oh, in yeah, it. Right. So we're priming it twice to make sure we can get the best we can possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, hit it. No, not like that. I'm just in your way, mate. Just in your way. Hopefully, what you should see, have a quick check over. Hopefully, no holes, because we've filled all the holes, we've got rid of all the, you know, the little infections. And... Because actually, we don't want to paint something, it have fucking red big holes in it. Looking good, our kid. Who's this at the window? Oh, it's 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 the emperor. It is an evil apprentice. <laughs> well, like the monkeys yeah. at the zoo. Yeah. God, he has to get himself involved, don't he? <laughs> I know, yeah, you tell him, Keith. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
Looking good, mate. Looking good. Right, so we'll see you back for a bit of paint, really. Yeah, this has got. I've got another coat on. This has got to dry. Then we've got flat in. And then hopefully later on today, we're going to be putting some colour on these. Good stuff. Okay, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Well then, Arky, everything looks pretty primed up, my friend. Yeah, I'm ready for some red. Ready for some red. Yeah, these will be hard, they will be flat. So this is the fiberglass one, this yeah. is the genuine one. Yeah, that's, yeah. This is off one car, obviously. Yeah, there's... off another car, Yeah. that's... We're painting red, so I might as well paint it in... Agreed, agreed. At the same time. Hey, you got some spectators today. Who are these? Have they come for a job? <laughs> Have they come for a job? I think this this one looks like should be good at it. They're watching their dad. Do Does he want a job here? Yeah, well, yeah, there's nothing better than passing on a trade, my friend. Yeah, I'm ready. I was born ready. These guys, these guys are ready. These guys are ready. immensely satisfying. Hey Keith, we're getting a thumbs up down here. That's my biggest fan right there. Biggest fan. I hope she subscribes. There we go, they're looking pretty red, my friend. Any colour this week, as long as it's red. As long as it's red. Last week it was white, but... So what's next then for these? So they got to bake off? Um, give them a flash off for five minutes. We're going to put another two coats of red on. 
so yeah. to make sure we're at capacity, make sure we're covered. Yeah. Um, and then lap up. Oh, lovely, lovely. So yes, mate. See you in a bit. Yeah. What are we doing? That's just been flashing off, flashing the base going off. So we turn the turn the door, but this is the spray door back down to 20 because it's at 40 at the minute. Okay. Obviously that just dries the base coat so we can then lap. Right. We'll let that drop back down and then we'll start lacquering. Right, so we're lack we're gonna lacquer the uh, the fiberglass yeah. parts that you've That's right. prepped. Okay, let's do it. Let's do I'll it. Fo I'll follow you. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's <laughs> it. Uh it's a bit warm in here, mate. Yeah. Woo! I'll have to wait a minute, just let that drop. Yeah. That's probably a bit too warm, is it? Yeah. Okay, shall I go and stand outside or it's a bit cooler? If we knock the burner off, it'll, it, should, it should cool down. It's okay, cool. okay, I'm oh, very hot. Okay. Base coat red. So the but yeah. Shiny in the gun. Yeah, shiny, shiny. Okie dokie. Two coats. Hey Keith, I reckon you're lacking my legs. Oh. Come out of the you bath. Should, you should always definitely bring protection. Okay, yeah. Well, I just couldn't stand it in there, it was too warm. So I'm back outside here watching him. And also he lacking my legs. I'm sure they're really shiny now. He's doing a fantastic job, and he? Look at that, what a skill. Here he goes, thumbs up from our Keith. Well, they look absolutely stunning, Keith. That's all I was... Very happy with him on Saturday. Yeah, it was nice to see Dazar, yeah. wasn't it? He came down and he had a look. And this, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, is a fiberglass bonnet. And our kids made that look extremely sexual. And the same with the wings. You know, a lot of work, I mean, you've seen in the stages, but a lot of work has got into making these as good as they can possibly be. And uh, that is no short feat either because... There was many layers to do uh, and bits and bobs that needed repairing. The problem with fiberglass is, and Keith will back this up, yeah. is 
the preparation of the fiberglass is immense compared to if you had a metal wing there yeah and you were prepping a metal wing 20 30 minutes even if you i mean if you even if you said oh it's got a little dent on it you'll do a little dent do it prime it flat it whatever within an hour or so you probably have it ready you know what i mean but that fiberglass is an immense amount of difference you know the the depending on the quality of the part that's turned out now admittedly these were in my opinion 50 50. Yeah. you get really bad which is like we probably wouldn't touch and then you get really really good and then you get something in, in between, between. The, bonnet was, the bonnet was good right? the bonnet was good yeah to be honest the bonnet was really good and i don't think the bonnet could have been any better but the rest, the, the uh, few little bits in it, which was good. So that was a good fiberglass part, in my opinion. Uh, someone had already cut the vents out, but hadn't quite cut them out as nicely as I would have liked. So admittedly, I, I did go back in and I tripped them up for Keith what, before he started prepping and stuff. And then the wings were the sort of same. One wing had got the holes cut out in it and, and like the uh, square holes filed. Um, and then one wing was completely untouched as in it was as it came out of the mold. So yeah. there was some quite a bit of preparation to do with that. Uh, we took the decision to cut a third hole in it because the preparation that would have been involved to get this part correct in here because that dipped right in and the uh, finish was so bad in there, there was two options. It was either open it out, make a third hole or completely fill that in because there was no, with the depth of it and the angle of it, yeah. you, you could never prep it. Um, so there was sort of some decisions made there, which Dazar was happy with. Uh, I think the wings come out really, really well. You know, as a whole thing, as the as the end product is is come out really well. Yeah. But not cheap to do. No. Because the the sheer preparation, honestly, that that wing probably took uh, uh, basically to do these two wings and a, and a bonnet took as long as to pretty much paint the whole of that FN two outside, apart from. Apart from all the trims. Yeah, so when trims. we talk about painting, I was talking, that was stripped. You talk about the body of the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was stripped. But then to prep that whole car and paint it took about the same amount of time to do a bonnet and two wings. Yeah. Because now, of the, because of the preparation wings. time that yeah, went into it. Time goes in. Obviously, there's still all the trims and everything to do on that car. So it's all, but th that's the difference with the fiberglass preparation stuff. It's obviously a lot more, uh, a lot more involved. These look absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. So, um, that is the end of this video. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And these, I'm sure you will see on Dazar's video when we he, will, fi yeah. when he finally fits. Thursday, I believe, to pick him up. Yeah. He said it was his birthday on Thursday, so he was going to treat himself come and pick him up. Well, happy birthday to Dazar. What a gentleman he is. Mm. And uh, we'll see you all on the next one, won't we, lads? We'll do. You got anything to say, Keith? <laughs> Uh, Dazar mentioned something about getting touched up at Uncle Keith's. Yeah. Uh, that's what was just making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> getting touched. So, I went to he, Uncle Keith's and he touched me. He's been touched up. Um, if you want to get <laughs> <You do. laughs> touched up. And then there's the, the old faithful. Uh, 100%. Satisfaction guaranteed, guaranteed or, or your dead, dead back. back. Or your dead back. Fantastic. See you all later, guys. Well, here is an awesome FN2, and this is Dazar's. Let's find out what he's collecting today. Okay, so it's a full house. Here's the team, here's Dazar. Here's another FN2, which isn't Dazar's, because obviously his is there. But today he's collecting. I'm gonna walk past everybody. I'm gonna walk past our Keith. Hi, our Keith. Thank you. And today he's collecting this lovely fiberglass vented wings as you can see and also this lovely fiberglass vented bonnet and our Keith has done some sublime work and you've probably seen earlier on in the video some of the work gone into that but he's collected today it's his birthday so in the comments below happy birthday Dazar here's our Jensen these are nice and shiny aren't they mate I've never seen red ones before Jensen's got a running joke that he only ever sees red FN2s. And to be fair, there's three here today, isn't there? Yeah. There's that one, there's Dazar's, and there's one on the ramps that you're working on. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but they're all red. But there we go. Let's go and, uh, let's go see Dazar and see what he thinks. So he's seen the quality. So just to end the video, what do you reckon to them, Dad? Are you happy? Oh, unbelievable. Absolutely stoked, guys. What a fantastic job Uncle Keith has done on these bits. 
absolutely brilliant. He's, so a, he's, he's a natural, ain't he? He's a natural. If you've got any paintwork to get it done, guys, you've got to pop down here because this is the place to get it done. It's absolutely super. Thank you very much, sir, and happy birthday. Thank you very much. I'm very old. I'm <laughs> very old. <laughs> And we'll see you again on another Uncle Keys paint shop video. Well, we've actually decided to fit the bonnet because it's the safest place for it on the car. So here's what she looks like before. And let's do a ch 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 Cool match is good, ain't it? Considering you're going from that's amazing, that's amazing match, mate. To be honest, that's like 11 year old car. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that I think that with the 